Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dorothea from Krubi Patterns and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable crochet baby shoes. You can find the written instructions on my blog and a PDF pattern with one additional size that you can download in my Etsy, Raverly and Love Crochet shop. All the links are in the description box below. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the upper part of the shoe, how to make a bow and how to attach the bow to the shoe. So if you are not coming from the tutorial where I am showing you how to crochet a baby sole, please pause the video here, click on the link in the right corner of this video or the link in the description box below and make two crochet soles first. Then come back and I will show you how to make the rest of the shoe. The left and the right shoe are exactly the same, so you have to follow the tutorial for the first one and then repeat all the steps for the second one. But before we do that, I'm going to explain what we will need for this tutorial. You will need some R and weight yarn, I'm using 100% cotton yarn, but you can use any type of yarn you want, as long as the yarn weight is the same and the gauge is correct. You can find the information about the gauge in the written instructions on my blog. You will need stitch markers to mark your first stitch of each round, so you will know where exactly you have to join the round and start a new one. You will also need 3.5mm or E4 crochet hook for both parts, the upper part of the shoe and the bow. A yarn needle, I keep my needles in this convenient small plastic tube with the cover on the top so I don't lose them. And of course a pair of scissors. We will start with the upper part, so again if you haven't already, please pause the video and finish two crochet soles first. Each sole has a right and wrong side. This is the right side. You can see the front side of your half double crochet stitches. This is also the side of the sole that was facing towards you when you were crocheting it. This is the wrong side of the sole and you can see the stitches look a little bit different from this side. We will turn the sole so the right side will be on the other side of the shoe and the wrong side will be closed inside. The part where you were joining your rounds on the sole is the heel part. We will start, finish and join all our rounds of the upper part on the heel too. Now fold the sole in half lengthwise, find the heel and insert the hook into the stitch that is right in the fold. Make sure the yarn tail on the sole is pulled through your last stitch, if not, go ahead and do that first. We would usually use both loops, so front and back loop. The loop closer to you is the front loop and the one further away from you is back loop. We will do an exception in our first round and we will work into back loops only. That will give us a nice edge all the way around the bottom of the shoe. So instead of working into both loops, work into back loops only. Let's start with round one. Take some orange yarn, create a small loop and pull the loop through. Secure the loop with chain 1. We will start in the same stitch and we will work one half double crochet into each of next 44 stitches. So first yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, grab the yarn and pull it through. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Now yarn over and pull the yarn through all loops on your crochet hook. We call this stitch half double crochet stitch. Now continue working half double crochet stitches all the way to the end of the round. Skip the slip stitch from the previous round, so the last round on the sole and join the round with a slip stitch. The slip stitch is just a joining stitch and does not count as a stitch in the pattern. 
Now this is our first round. Let's start with round two. Chain one. Work one single crochet into each of next 44 stitches. Insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull the loop through. You have two loops on your crochet hook. Now yarn over again and pull the loop through both loops on your crochet hook. And this is your first single crochet stitch. Repeat this stitch 43 more times. Skip the slip stitch from the previous round and join this round with a new slip stitch. Let's start with round 3. Chain 1. Work one single crochet into first 10 stitches. Work one half double crochet into the next one. That's the same stitch that we were using on the sole and the first round of the upper part. Now the next one is a bit tricky. Join two stitches together with a half double to together stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull the loop through. Now insert the hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull the loop through. You have four loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops on your crochet hook. Well done. Work one half double crochet into each of next two stitches. Repeat this sequence, join first two stitches with half double two together stitch, work one half double crochet into each of next two stitches four more times. Join next two stitches with a half double crochet to together stitch. Work one half double crochet into the next one. Ten stitches left. So work one single crochet into each of next 10 stitches. Skip the slip stitch from the previous round and join this round with a new slip stitch. Chain 2. 
As you can see here, the front part of our shoe is slowly getting its shape. Let's start with round 4. We are now in round 4, chain 1, and work 1 single crochet into each of next 10 stitches. Place the stitch marker, Work one half double crochet into the next one. Join the next two stitches with a half double crochet to together stitch. Join 2 and 2 stitches together with a double crochet 2 together stitch, so repeat the double crochet 2 together stitch 6 times. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull the yarn through. You have 3 loops on your crochet hook, now yarn over and pull the yarn through first 2 loops. Yarn over again, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull the yarn through. You have 4 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over again and pull the loop through first 2 stitches. You have 3 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull the loop through all the remaining loops on your crochet hook. We call this stitch double crochet to together stitch. Repeat this stitch 5 more times. Join next two stitches with a half double crochet to together stitch. Work one half double crochet into the next one. Ten stitches left. Now work one single crochet into each of next ten stitches. Now join the round with a slip stitch made into the very first stitch of this round. Round 4 is now complete and we will continue with round 5. Chain 1 to lift the round to a proper height. Work 1 single crochet into each of next 9 stitches. Start into the very first one. 
mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. Work one half double crochet into the next one. Now join the next two stitches with a half double crochet two together stitch. Now we will join two and two stitches together with a double crochet two together stitch and we will repeat the double crochet two together stitch three times. Join next two stitches with a half double crochet two together stitch. Work one half double crochet into the next one. Nine stitches left, work one single crochet into each of next nine stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch made into the very first stitch of this round. Now you can cut the yarn and fasten off. Make sure you hide the yarn tails before you start with round 6. Round 6 is made of slip stitches, we will need a beige yarn. Insert the hook into the stitch that is right in the center of the heel, attach the yarn, pull the yarn through. Now work one slip stitch into each stitch all the way around. Make sure the stitches in this round are not too tight. Now cut the yarn, fasten off and hide all the tails. Make sure you hide the tails between the stitches made with beige yarn. Now let's continue with the bow. We are going to crochet a bow that we will later attach to the shoes. Take some beige yarn and chain 23.
drawing the chain with a slip stitch. Slip stitch does not count as a stitch here. Chain 1 to lift the round to a proper height. Now work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. Join the round with a slip stitch. Chain 2. This round is made of double crochet stitches, so work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. Join the round with a slip stitch, then chain 1. Work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around, so into each of next 23 stitches. Finish the round with a slip stitch. Cut the yarn and fasten off. Now hide all the yarn tails. Take a small amount of orange yarn, wrap it around the center of the bow, make a nice and firm knot and attach the bow to the shoe. Repeat all the steps for the second shoe. Okay guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one. Click on the little bell next to the subscribe button if you would like to be notified when I post something new. 
I know those notifications can be a little bit annoying sometimes, but because I don't have a specific schedule, I sometimes post every two or three weeks. It depends on when I finish the pattern and video tutorial. So I think the notifications can be a great solution so you don't miss any of my future videos. Don't forget to share your work with me using hashtag Kruby Patterns. I would love, love, love to see your creations. Have an amazing day. Until next time. Bye.